Ghetto Roosters, how do you align a view on different sheets so it's in exactly the same location? And why would you want to do that? So take, for example, this project here, this sample project. I have a level five general arrangement plan here, and there's a level four, a level four floor plan here, four floor. That's a good tongue twister. Now, how do we get those similar levels, but different in exactly the same place on each sheet? Well, if we go up to the grid, we could use the grid, for example, this is one method. You could draw a line by typing in DL for a detail line, get that intersection of that grid and just draw a line out. Now I've got a pink, pink dashed line there, so it stands out. Now I'm going control C to copy that. And then I'm going up to paste here and align to current view. So it drops that line in exactly the same place. If we go up to look at that area, we can see that that grid intersection isn't near that end point of that line. So those that means that those views aren't aligned. Now if I click on that view, I can just move with the move tool from the grid intersection down to the, I'll just type in SE for end point, and it'll give me the end point of that line. Now those views are exactly aligned. Now why would you want to do that? Well, most of our deliverables in the drawings are PDFs. A lot of PDFs are used. And people use PDF markup software like Bluebeam, for example. And they love it when those views are aligned because they can easily overlay things quickly and easily. So that's why you'd want to do it. So it's just a better product that you're delivering. So that's one way of aligning the views. Is there any other ways? Yes, there is. And there's one that uh, Autodesk suggests, and that's guide grids. Now, in properties on a sheet, you will have this thing called guide grid none. And if you click on it, you can have some options sometimes. Now in this project, we've never created a, a guide grid because I only realized recently that these things existed. Uh, it came out a few years ago and I must have missed the memo on it. So I've been doing it the clunky way, but even the new way to me is fairly clunky and it's not great. If you go in the view tab and go to grid guide, you have a little box that pops up and you can create a new grid guide. Now setting up a larger project with these and using it extensively recently, you will create multiple grid guides because of you need different grids for different groups of plans or views. So I'm just gonna call one upper levels, upper levels, and it'll create a grid guide. And because that was the first one created, it's gonna show up on the sheets. So you'll, you'll see it in that one I created, but not in this one, because this one is set to none. If I change it to upper levels, you'll see it show up. And back to level five, you'll see it show up there. Now that's a pretty busy grid. How can I use this practically? Well, let's go over here now to this side, and we can see that there actually is a project datum here. Not labeled, but it's got the project uh, datum symbol. So let's use that as our grid guide. Location, now that grid's huge. So first of all, you can click on a grid and you can change its spacing. Now remember, grid guides aren't printable. They don't print out. So if you go File, Print, and just go, that'll do, Current View, I don't know, just go Preview. You don't see the grid guide. Obviously the sheet's not set up properly there. So that's good to know. So you can leave a grid guide on. Now what also you can do is grab on the grid guide. Now I showed you spacing then by looking at the properties. Whoa, don't snap there. But you also have these grips that you can grab and pull in. So let's just say, okay, well let's pull it in because I'm only gonna use that zone up there as my grid guide for the upper level. So I don't need all these other grids, yeah. Now you pulled it in like that. Now it's not at that point. So how do I fix that issue? Well, that's not a problem either because you can also click on a grid line, a grid guide and use the move tool and go from the intersection of that grid to that intersection of those grids there, which is my project datum. So that grid guide's been updated. If I go to level four now, you can see it's already updated in there because it's the same grid guide. Let's delete that level floor plan and then let's bring in level four 
again and see what happens. Now this is the bit I find a little bit disappointing. What I notice with a lot of Revit is that you've got to place the view first, then move it. Why can't we just place it and it ends up in the right place? Please, less clicks so we can be speedy. It doesn't seem to snap to anything other than the view title aligns with other view titles. So I'll just place that roughly there. And then I will, of course, because it's the detail title, I'll change that to view title. And then I'll click on my view, use the move, move tool. I have that intersection there, go to that intersection of that grid guide there. Now those two views are aligned perfectly.